chord melody. It's nothing less than a magical musical juggling act. It's a way of playing melodies and chords at the same time on one instrument. How is it done? Well, in this two-part lesson, I'm going to show you the key concepts that make it possible. I'm going to give you some exercises to try at home, and I'll teach you two arrangements to get you started on your journey into chord melody. Chord melody is a huge topic, but really it all boils down to one thing, and that is you have the power to choose exactly which note in a chord you want the audience to focus on. You have the ability to highlight any note in a chord just the way a magician can bring any card to the top of the deck. How do we do this? How do we make a melody rise to the top of a chord progression so that it sort of floats along the top and the audience hears it clearly? Well, there are two ways. First, we take advantage of the fact that your ears, like everyone else's ears, are hardwired to listen for the highest sounding note in a chord. So if we can make sure that that highest sounding note in every chord that we play is the melody note, then the melody will be heard clearly. In cases where that doesn't work, because sometimes it's not possible to have the highest sounding note be the melody note, in cases where that doesn't work, we have a backup plan. And that backup plan is your ears are also conditioned to listen for the last note in a chord. So if we roll the chord in a, in, in a way that makes the last note the melody note, even if that isn't the highest note in the chord, it will come out clearly as the melody note. Okay, so those are our two strategies for uh, fooling the ear into focusing on the note that we want it to focus on. Let's try an exercise now and I'll show you what I mean. Play a regular C chord, strumming all four strings. When we play this C chord, the way we always play it, it really highlights the C note, third finger on the first string. That comes out clearly as the melody note. But what happens if I play the C chord a different way? Notice I'm not going to move my left hand at all for this entire example. What if I just play three strings instead of four? If I play the G, C, and E strings only. Notice I'm, I'm coming to rest on the A string because I don't want to hear the A string. That's still a C chord, but it really brings out a different part of the chord. What happens if I only roll two strings? It brings out yet another part of the chord. What happens if I roll this chord backwards? I'm using the fleshy side of my index finger for that roll. It brings out yet another part of this chord. It's like reshuffling the deck every time we change the way we play this chord. So here we have four different variations on the C chord. The four string version, the three string version, the two string version, and the reverse rolled version. Notice that I haven't moved my left hand fingers at all, and you get four different variations on that familiar chord, each variation bringing out a different part of that C chord. And that's how we reshuffle chords in order to really direct the audience's attention to a specific note. Let's learn your first chord melody arrangement. Let's choose a piece that has a really familiar melody so that you know if you're getting it right. Let's choose a piece that has only one chord in it so we don't have to worry about chord changes. How about something like Frere Jacques or Are You Sleeping, Brother John? Let's play it in the key of C and let's play the melody on the A string exclusively. So we're going to start here on the C note Notice I'm playing with my first finger because I'm going to move up the neck from there. Third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, and back to the third fret. Do that again. Third, fifth, seventh, and back to the third. 
jump up to the seventh fret, eighth, and tenth. Do that again on the seventh fret, eighth, and tenth. That's enough for now. That's all the melody we need for this example. Now, thinking back to our previous example, you remember that uh, if I play just three strings, three open strings, I'm going to get a C chord. Now this is really useful in this example because all I have to do to turn this Frere Jacques melody into a, a chord melody arrangement is to just strum all the strings as I play that melody on the first string, like this. Notice how I'm rolling the chord just slightly to bring out the melody even more clearly. Play that with me. One, two, uh, ready, go. Now notice how we're really just playing a sequence of chords. Every single beat is a chord, and yet we're fooling the ear into thinking that it's hearing a melody and chords at the same time. Because in each one of those chords, my melody note is the highest sounding note. So it's heard really clearly by the audience. Now, if you want a little more of a challenge and you want to make this sound even smoother and more convincing, you can try this. Strum only on the first and third beats of each measure, like this. Notice with my right hand, I'm going strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, all the way through. To my ear, this makes it sound lighter, a little more flowing, a little more smooth. Um, let me play it just a little bit faster so that you get a sense of it. Right? Now we're really starting to create that illusion of two parts happening simultaneously. And if you're really up for a challenge, you can try reversing the strum so that you're playing the strum on the second and fourth beats of each me measure, going pick, strum, pick, strum, like this. Just something to keep you interested if you're already beyond the, the beginner level in this particular lesson. That brings us to the end of Chord Melody Crash Course Part 1. In Part 2 of this lesson, I'm going to teach you an arrangement of a classic fiddle tune called Boil Them Cabbage Down. It's fun, it's upbeat, it's got three chords, and I'll even show you a fancy strum that will make your performance sound amazing. If you're still hungry for more, on the art and science of solo ukulele and you really want to dive deeply into this topic, come on over to theukuleleway.com. That's where I'm giving lessons on how to juggle melody, harmony, and rhythm simultaneously on one ukulele. There are six levels in the program and over a hundred video lessons. Plus, there's an active online community of learners from all over the world, people just like you who are trying to master this instrument. So stop by, take a lesson, say hello, it's free to join so you have nothing to lose. Take care, and until the next time, keep on strumming.